Ames Kertrens are the equine ambassadors for Ames Construction of Burnsville. And as you know, they are great promoters of our draft horse industry and the Ames Construction. I grew up in a family that loved Percheron draft horses, especially Dapple Grays. My granddad and his brother back in the early 1900s were in it big time. Horses were still the power on the farm. Being the oldest of the family, I planted corn for dad on the farm with horses. Ames was doing the Denver airport and ours is a family business. And uh, dad was still alive. And uh, I got this wild idea I was going to put a hitch together. Being raised with horses, I know everything about horses, I mean. We go down to Waverly, Iowa to the auction sale, and uh, it was a Miller hitch that I bought. Bought the horses, the wagon, and the whole works. They were sold on auction. And dad rode down with me, and he didn't know I was going to do this. And I'm buying all this stuff, and he said, what the hell are you doing? So we come back to the farm, set it up, and uh, Richard Eide was my very first trainer from was really a nice guy. He, was, he knew it was temporary, and one day he comes to me and he said, Dick, there's a young trainer out in Colorado that's really coming on, Hank Junkin. And so I hired Hank. And Hank, uh, we did pretty good. And then uh, Hank come to me and I just, he said, Dick, I can't put it together the way you want it. But he said, Jim Westbrook is available. Oh, wow. And then I went through my mind, I wonder how much this is gonna cost. <laughs> and I met, I met uh, Jim and his wife, Jill, in a restaurant in Kentucky and we made a deal and we got all done. And you know what Jim said to me? If you want me to do what you said, we gotta just start all over again. Oh, wow. Then he decided to took a job down in Texas and his son-in-law, Travis, took over and here we are today. Dick has uh, had a lot of success with these perch runs. Um, he's very proud of his horses. We've won quite a few championships and titles and he's very proud of it, but he's also very humbled and he knows that, you know, every weekend it could be different and the great thing about working for Dick Ames is the opportunity to know that when I go to work and when I show the horses, if I go in and have a good drive, he knows it, he can see it. And when I go have a bad drive, he's gonna let me know it because he can see it and I take his opinion to heart because I know with his experience um, showing his own horses, uh, also he has Arabians and he shows those too. And, you know, to be able to work with an owner that has horse knowledge, understands horses, and he knows that they're an animal. I've been very lucky. Um, we've, at the times that we needed to step up, um, the horses have been able to pull through for us. Um, we've won the Classic Series Finals um, since I've been driving twice. Won the RFD uh, Invitational which was a huge honor. You know, in addition to uh, competing with the horses, Ames also like to use the horses for community work. We do uh, parades, we've done uh, public appearances with the horses, and we have tours of the farm. And they just love to show, show people their horses. They're proud of their horses and want other people to enjoy them as well. Our hitch is financed by the construction company called the Ambassadors of Ames Construction. And what we want is the people that's representing that construction company be polite, take care of everything like the company does, and like I said to begin with, winning is important, but more important is how we conduct ourselves out in the public.